this giant I had all these great potions set up I had I had let me show you what I had also I'm, I'm full adamantite because um, I took that time it was about two or three hours more it took me that amount of time to uh, dig up the rest of the adamantite I didn't want to show you guys that because it would be boring so I just dug it up this is the cross we got so there are multiple strategies to destroy the world one of them is to make a giant um, pillar and fight him there, which limits the amount of lasers he can throw at you. The other is a long, open, large area. But probably the best one, and the easiest one, and the one that requires the least amount of equipment, the one was I was just doing for shits and giggles, was, eh, I'll probably defeat them this way because it's the easiest way to defeat them. The best way to do it is get yourself some slime statues. Two, three, however many, however many you want to hook up, ain't no big thing. And what you do is you hook these slime statues up to a repeater, or a timer. And so what happens is, you turn it on, it'll spawn that statues. You hook yourself onto the ground, and what happens is, the slimes keep you invulnerable at constantly one damage. They do one damage, and you can't get hit for a little bit after. And if you have a cross necklace, it is tons, tons longer. And so instead of taking the damage from the boss, you're just continuously taking damage from the slimes. And you can see, a regen potion completely negates the amount of damage you can take from slimes. And this is by far the easiest way to get and kill the destroyer. Is it cheap? Yep. Is it completely within the bounds of the game? Oh yeah. Do I care? Nope. Anything that, anything that I can show you guys that makes it easy for you guys to uh, kill the dude, I'm all for it. Now this was not my idea, I actually saw this, I don't remember which video, but I've seen this before. So I just, like, spark after I've been planning and planning how to kill this guy. It 
sparked my brain. I'm like, oh, wait, I remember how to do this. There's a much easier way for me to do this. And so that's how that came about. Do I have a shine potion or is always everything for shiny? So that was that. <laughs> uh, a few guys end up dying, obviously, because just the close proximity of things. But hey, easy way to kill the destroyer. The world eater, whatever the, the, the destroyer, I think it's called. We did lose the guide, so I wanted to see what we could make with. Oh, we lost the. Oh, we lost. The, we lost everybody. Shit. Well, they'll be back eventually. Uh, what was that? Why are the guys spawning down here? Oh, they're spawning because there's not enough NPCs to make them not spawn. Right. Once uh, you get a few NPCs around in your house, guys will eventually stop spawning, and if they all die, they end up coming back. But anyways, uh, that's all this video was, to tell you that I went ahead, mined the rest of the adamantite to get uh, a full set of adamantite, so that's cool. And uh, show you guys an easy way to kill the destroyer. Now, the, as far as I know, there is no... Well, there is one easy way to kill any boss, is find yourself a bunch of heart statues. They're very rare, but they do pop um, hearts out that will regen your health. And you can set up a line of these and just go back and forth, getting and getting and getting and getting more health and more health. And that ends up being a very, very good way to um, to beat any boss, because you'll basically have an infinite amount of health. The slam thing works too. The slam thing always seems to work pretty well. You can it works especially well just for these dudes because these guys, you know, they come at you, the warm comes at you. So pretty pretty nice that way. So, the only reason it works so especially well for the worm is because, again, he comes at you. It makes sense to just hold yourself in one place and have your way with him, so to speak. Where's the guy? He's spawned already. I know he's spawned because he's in the housing thing. I don't know where he actually is, though. I also heard that, that uh, the NPCs tend to spawn above ground now, so... He should be somewhere. So this cross necklace is actually pretty useful. There he is. Hey guy, what can I make with the soul of mine? I can make light discs. Oh, I should have, I should have kept the freaking um. All oh, right, this is the first uh stuff we need for the um. Okay, I should have kept the. Well, do I have any? I don't think I have any metal bars to make those light discs. Those light discs are actually really cool. I'll show you what they do. If I can. Uh, sold. I sold all of my cobalt bars, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Do I have any mythical bars? Because cobalt bars I can come across pretty easily, so that's not going to be a big deal. So we got to kill him a few more times, a few more times to get enough of stuff to do everything with him. But uh, let's see, cobalt bars. Nope, there's blue, but there's no cobalt bars. All right, well, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna go get us a little bit of cobalt bars and some mythical bars, and I'll be right back. You're not gonna see this because I don't want to see you guys. I, I, you guys already had an hour of me mining. That's that's more than enough, so I will be back, okay? Be right back in a bit. Right, so that took a little longer than I thought it would because I realized I also needed some souls of light and I needed 40 of each. Now, um, technically I need, I will need, I think I'm gonna stick with four. You can get, okay. So, light disc. Bone chakra, basically. But, the cool thing about it is, is they stack. And so, what is really even cool, cooler about it is that you can toss them out um, four at a time. Technically, you can toss them out five at a time, um, but you know, for five, I would need another, another five, and it didn't happen. So, basically, uh, that's what's cool about these. It's like it's the Thorn Chakra, and if you just hold down the mouse, you can get an infinite loop going. So, it's pretty cool. It's a good weapon. It does the whole uh, bouncy thing. And I imagine if doing the trick would be actually even easier down here. Just, just doing this would probably be really, really, really easy. Of course, uh, that might end up taking a lot of slimes out also, which maybe not may not be the best, you know, thing in the world. Let's see. They also seem to bug out a little bit. Not to, you know,
but yeah, that's what that's uh what, what I'll use to get uh that's, that's what I'll use my first batch of Souls of Might for. It's just uh, good old fashioned light discs. They're the Thorn Chakra, but there's five of them, and they're awesome. Alright folks, that's it. I know I skipped a lot of mining for you. You know, mining the 40 municipal bars and 40 uh, cobalt bars. But it, you guys already saw an hour of mining. I think it's too soon. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. If you want an easy way to kill the destroyer, you know how. And, uh, yeah, I'll work on getting the rest of the armor and stuff. I'll do that a few more times. I'll have to go gather the necessary stuff, though. I need, like, more copper bars and... I'll probably get some great healing potions out of that, too. I'll need some more copper bars, some more, um... Primarily some more copper bars and some more um, iron bars. Actually, I think I might have enough copper bars. I don't know. But I'll basically need some more souls of night to, to get this going. But that's a good use of our first batch, I think. Four of these. I could get five, but meh. It seems dumb. I think four is, four is more than enough. They're basically Tron discs, too. Like, they're inspired after the Tron discs, so... That's cool. They're very cool. I like them. I'm trying to find some some poor thing to test them on. Now, what's the baddest thing? You know, they don't go through enemies, so it's kind of bad. But you can still just kind of huddle yourself in the corner, and if you get the angle right, you can just like these shoot as fast as you can hit them. So that's pretty dope. <coughs> They got a good range too, they got like they shoot farther than arrows, so this may actually end up taking the place of my um adamantite repeater. I mean just because I have it's an arrow, it's 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 straight goes straight, comes back. It's pretty good. I like it. I do like it a lot. You know what we could do? Let's put these potions potions to use, because I, I did have the potions prepared for this awesome, spectacular flight, and then I didn't have to do that because I remember the trick. Let's get a weapon and take them out with these, uh, beautiful, beautiful, little, beautiful little inventions of ours. I love how I can just, I love how I can just jump straight onto this thing. Okay. Um, so get this. I'll wait for Weber to come up, but once, once the Weber does come up, we'll just anchor ourselves in here and just have that space just raw. It sounds so beautiful. I guess it does only come out as well. It comes out as quick as you can, like capture him back. I think, which is the, like the thing. Come on, you. Well, we'll see how effective these are. Maybe I'm just being awed by the uh, the uh, sound of it. There we go. There's a weapon. Oh. All right. Come on. Come on, boy. Come here. Come here. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. So it doesn't go that far. It does, it does do the damage, though. Yeah, so even if it does switch, does it won't actually bounce at him. But it's still good damage. I think it will replace my uh, arrows. Well, let's see. This is straight up 42. And this is 39 plus 10, 49. Very fast, very fast. Hmm. It is melee damage, so it does have it has a larger critical strike chance, a stronger knockback, and also uh, scales with this, so an extra seven. So I think we'll keep this instead of the arrows, because you know, a it does this, which is dope, and b it's stronger generally. So yeah, we'll keep it. Alright, we'll, we'll keep this. Let's go find another weapon. I'm pretty sure I can maintain the height I need. To... It's like I'm juggling. Where's that? RP. Yeah, so it'll crit more too, so that's good. It has a nice crit chance. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to get back on the skyline. I've gone too far. I don't know where I am anymore. Oh, this is where I am. Okay. Nah. Oh, oh. I love that I can just jump up to the skyline now. It's really cool. Alright, give me another arrow. I can 
fly too, motherfucker. Now, the, the downside is if you, if you don't uh, catch it, it's, you are limited. But if you do manage to catch it, you know, you're fine. And these guys do still hurt, so I can't take them all that lightly. <laughs> Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Is there anything I can make with the Souls of Flight that I haven't already have? That I haven't already have? That I don't already have? Let's see. I know the guy's like permanently living over here until he dies. Oh look, the demolition is, is also dripping up over here. Great! What can I make? Oh, just the wings? Eh, okay. Maybe I can, maybe I can sell them. Maybe they sell well. Actually, I can sell them to the dynamite dude. Yeah, okay. I'll sell them to the merchant. Dirt blocks sell for over 26 silver. Okay. Alright, folks. That's it for me. I'll see you folks next time. Peace.